Hello magical beings and welcome to the water spirits. Today we are connecting with our beautiful water spirits here and we're asking what advice and guidance can these water spirits give to us to help us to help guide us into our next phase of life what do we need to know what can we know to help be supported so we're just going to gaze into the water and i'm just going to share with you any any messages anything that comes through today and we're connecting to our higher selves and our intuition what advice and guidance spirit beautiful water spirit this is lake huron in case anyone was wondering what do you have to say The water spirits, I just heard them say I love you. So I think that, I think that the water that we are drinking and the water that we are connecting with, water is very sacred in that it is reactive. So if you are infusing it with the intention of love, then that is going to be what you are putting into your body. So this water spirit is saying, make sure that when you drink water, make sure to be present as you drink it. Make sure to set the intention that this water is for healing purposes. It's to heal and replenish your body, that it's not out of just necessity, that it's out of love and love and devotion and healing. There's a lot of plants growing in the water right now. So I think that you, water spirits, whoever is connecting with this reading, I think that you're going to be growing a lot and maturing within your emotional realm. I think that you're going to be growing a lot of new relationships out of a more mature and emotional state. So rather than feeling attachments, rather than feeling needy, and desperate for certain relationships and clinging to them. Spirit is saying that you're going to be developing newer relationships where you can foster healthy connections rather than these attachments, rather than feeling like we need these people in our life. No, it's not about need, it's about that we desire them, that we want these people in our life. I think Judging by the clarity of this water, you're going to be able to see your emotions clearly. The water is also very calm, which is allowing for that. It's allowing for that new perspective where we can actually see into the depths, into our emotional realms. So the water spirits are saying, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to dive in to understand your emotions. Once you do that, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's when we suppress our emotions and we bury them that they become muddy and they become confused. But we need to rise above them like these little bubbles here. These little bubbles are like just, just dancing on the surface but underneath, they all have a shadow. So, <laughs> I think, oh my gosh, you guys, there's little fish. 
I was just going to say we all have a shadow. We all have a shadow, but it's getting to learn our shadow, getting to befriend our shadows, that we can truly move through life authentically, that we can truly move through our world in a way where we understand who and what we are. We have to understand our darkness. We have to understand those parts of us that we maybe have lost or wanted to forget over the years. Let's see, where are the fish now? I was hoping I could put the camera in the water for you guys. It was just such a brief moment where they were there. I see this, I see the fish as um, like your spirit guides. They're there, they're watching over you. Here, I'll put the camera in the water. Maybe they'll come over. I know it's a bit a bit muddy. Sorry if the sound is um, wonky because it's going under the water, but yeah, I think everything is a bit muddy down there. Well, it's not muddy, it's just there's a bit of algae, but it's not being stirred up. It's just settled there. So I think for a lot of you guys, the water spirits are saying like, it's up to you if you want to, like, go and rehash old things from your past. Or you can just move forward and swim away from them. It's not that you're not looking at them and understanding them. It's just, like, you don't have to keep retelling yourself the same story. The thing is, water remembers. Our emotions, we remember them. Because our body is made of water. It has an imprint in it. It's literally like melted crystals, if you think about it. And so, yes, water remembers. But in our minds, we have the luxury to be able to accept that memory and not cling to it. Now, obviously... Obviously, it's a natural process to have to release our trauma and go within to understand our shadows. The dark night of the soul can be an extremely, extremely treacherous and challenging experience. But once we make it through, we, we have our ego death and we realize that we are not our ego. We are not that facade. And when we realize that, our awareness shifts and we realize that we are that consciousness behind the eyes of the human and that the human is just a vessel. Our human body is just a vessel for experience. And like a time machine, it can take us into the future. And so we need to protect our body, we need to nurture it, we need to give it love. And the water spirits are coming here and they're saying, we are here to give you love. When you drink water, you are drinking love and you are drinking healing life force being poured into you. So be careful of the water that you drink. Bless the water that you drink. Love the water that you drink. And drink it slowly with intention. Listen to the water. The water spirits are saying if you can get a chance to go and listen to water, whether it's just the slow ripple. Or whether it's the waves on the shore or a waterfall. Maybe it's a small creek. Maybe it's a river. Whatever it is. Go sit by the river and just listen to it talk. Because it is in those moments that you remember that your voice is not limited to the language that you were taught. That we understand all the languages of all the elements. 
our spirit remembers. So close your eyes, let your mind free, and listen to the water. So thank you, water spirits. Thank you for being here with us today. We are so blessed to have you. We give love to you. We give thanks for life. And we will see you in the next one. I hope that these messages resonated. And if they did, and you know somebody who might benefit from these messages, or enjoy being here in this calm, beautiful space, then please, please share this video. And if you liked it, give us the thumbs up and subscribe if you feel called to. Thank you so much for being here.